All right. Oh, no. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Black Mar Barbecue. We're doing a little something different today. We're cooking indoors. Cajun chicken pasta. This dish is actually going to be one of my old football coach's recipes. He recently passed away. The guy was an absolute legend in the football arena. 40 plus years of coaching, NFL, college, you name it, he's done it, right? Dude was a huge influence on my life, very special person. And there's three things you need to know about Coach George DeLeon. He cared about football, family, and food. And that food was with a capital F. The guy had a drawer in his desk devoted solely to condiments, just in case he ever had a dry sandwich while he was watching film. So he recently passed. We're gonna make his chicken pasta. We might doctor it up a little bit. We'll get there. All right. Boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I almost never buy these things because it's always better to have bone in skin on or just buy the whole chicken. But for this recipe, we're staying true to the old man. Beautiful, I'm just kidding, There's boneless skinless chicken breast, nothing special. Basically, we're just gonna cut these in the strips, right? Something like this, something like this. A little bit bigger than bite size, because as you cook them, they're gonna shrink up. It'll be money. Cutting your chicken like this is gonna allow you to brown it much more quickly. Get a little faster Maillard reaction, get some fawn on the bottom of the pan. Bunch of buzzwords we all know and love. Now we'll get rid of our chicken cutting board. And wash the knife. First things first, we're gonna knock out a little mise en place. That's French for everything has its place. Basically, it's just prep work. I'm just doing a quick dice on these shallots. Of course, the first thing we're doing to this recipe is going outside the recipe. Coach De Leon was a real old school coach. He may not have liked O Lyman going rogue with the game plan, but trust me, he would have liked this audible. He would have liked this food. He would have been okay with this. Hey, bro, hey. was that in the game plan? Did we practice that all week? Shallots. The original recipe doesn't actually have any vegetables in it, so. You know, that's on Coach DeLeon, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's also delicious, but I feel like I personally can't make Cajun chicken pasta without at least some bell pepper and shallot and garlic. Going with a bit of a rough chop on this bell pepper. Cajun cuisine's not about a whole bunch of fancy knife work. It's about making shit taste good. Mushrooms, not on the OG recipe. But I can guarantee you, they were De Leon approved. These mushrooms are just gonna soak up all these vegetables. Their sole purpose is not for health reasons, it's to soak up as much flavor as possible from when we brown the chicken and the sausage. Yeah, honestly, for an O-line coach that wasn't a fat ass, he really didn't eat very many veggies. Yeah, he just had that like, I'm an old ass man, I'll do what I want metabolism. Shit was different back when he played with leather helmets and stuff. Speaking of shit that's not in the recipe, I'm adding andouille sausage, cause you just should, right? It's just gonna taste good. Green onion, this is for garnish, but let's get our prep work done. This actually is in the recipe. And if it wasn't, I would've added it, cause I love it. Now, I am gonna use the bulb I don't think that was in the recipe. So we're implying. So using the bulbs of this green onion, they're basically like Coach DeLeon's optional film sessions. You don't have to use them, but you're gonna be there. Kind of like the, uh, the post-practice work that all offensive linemen have to do. It's not stated, but it's implied. Last ingredient before I forget, sun-dried tomatoes. These are actually uh, atypical when it comes to cage. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> These are actually atypical when it comes to Cajun cooking. So I believe this is a 100% George DeLeon creation right here. And I'm here for it because I think 
Sun-dried tomatoes are delicious and they're a great addition to just about any pasta dish. Eat one for me. Also, I chopped up some garlic. Not technically in the recipe, but I don't think De Leon ever ate anything that didn't have garlic in it. Except dessert, cookies. He loved cookies. Barbara's cookies. Chicken. Hit this with a touch of olive oil. Go in with a little Cajun seasoning. Not too much, because we are just gonna pan sear this. We don't wanna burn off a lot of the seasoning. Just a little bit. Just mix it with your hand, right? It's not gonna, chicken's not gonna hurt you. First thing on the recipe is butter. Whoa, that's hot. It's at this point, I'm thinking I should probably have checked how much butter it called for. Two tablespoons. Wooden spoon. Oh shit, wooden spoon. Gotta have it when you're Cajun cooking. Look at that nice brown butter. Look at all those restaurant buzzwords. Chicken. In. Don't want to crowd the chicken to start, so let's spread it out. Let it get nice and brown. You're going to get a lot of liquid coming out of it at first, especially with that salt. It's going to draw that out to the surface, called osmosis or some shit like that. Should take, I don't know, five minutes, ten minutes. What am I, a scientist? Just cook it till it's done. Oh! Oh! Just look at that Maillard reaction. That crust! Remember when I told you to make the pieces of chicken bite size and they shrink up when cooking? This is what I meant. Look, it just shrunk. Oh, that shrunk again. That one shrunk too. Boy, I tell you what, this is only the second or third time using this certified pre-owned induction stove. And it does kick the shit out of that electric one, but man, it ain't gas. If I was a real hard ass, I'd be cooking over a live fire right now. But it's like 90 degrees outside, so always clean as you go. Should be filming this shit, because Katie doesn't believe I do it. Clean, that is. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Oh, I think I just might have to try this little guy. Yes, please. We're gonna go ahead and pull these out. Once they're crusted up, they're cooked. They're small. Now we're going in with our andouille sausage. I'm just kidding, it's andouille. Slight error. We accidentally didn't record me taking the sausage out and dumping the vegetables in. What you missed? There was still some butter and grease and fawn stuck to the bottom of this pan. So we dumped in our mushrooms, bell peppers, and green onion stems. Letting that get nice and happy. Hit it with a little Tony Satchery, a little Cajun season. We're just gonna let this sweat out, get nice and caramelized, and just let it, let it roll, you know? We're just developing layers of flavor. See how we're starting to get our veggies nice and dark, it's sticking to the bottom of the pan. This is a perfect time to go in with a little cooking beer. Lift all that shit up while I eat this steam. Facial. Garlic, in. Our vegetables are looking good. Everything's browned up. You can really just judge in this based on your mushrooms. Once they look tasty, go in with your meat. Let that get all happy. And then we're gonna start adding cream and other good shit. Everything's looking awesome. We're gonna go in with our cream. As I'm pouring this in, let me check. Uh, it says a half a cup. We're doing roughly triple the recipe, probably. Green onion, I don't know. We're just going in with everything else. Measurements weren't my strong suit. I cook with feeling. That just feels like the right amount of cream to me. We're gonna hit it with just a pinch of garlic powder. We added garlic, so we don't need too much of this. Little bit of dried basil and Parmesan cheese. Freshly grated for you guys by yours truly. You're welcome. Couple of grinds of black pepper. We don't need this sauce to be too thin because we are gonna toss it with our pasta and we're gonna reserve some pasta water that'll help thin this out, really bring everything together. It's at this point, this crucial moment of no return, you're adding your sauce to the noodles and I realized I left too much pasta water in there. It got a little thin, had to add a little extra cheese. Oops, 
Had to simmer off a little liquid. That's why it's very important to have your pasta cooked al dente because our pasta did not end up being overcooked. But look at that finished product. It's creamy, it's spicy, it's delicious. And it should be. There's enough cream and butter and cheese in there to kill a horse. This is an excellent pasta and the sun-dried tomatoes really provide a nice pop of flavor. All right, guys. So we made our Cajun chicken pasta. We stuck to the game plan Coach DeLeo laid out for us, kind of. mostly. We called some audibles. We put some other stuff in there. It's delicious. I already tried it because I can't help myself. This is my buddy Pat. We played like, I don't know, we got like 85 starts together at Baylor. <laughs> we're, they're building our statues right now. Right next to RG. We're, yeah, we're right next to RG. We're in front of him protecting him. We're <laughs> legends, right? We both played for DeLeo and he, was a huge in, he had a huge impact on our life. And we wanted to make this video together. We had, the whole time we've been cooking, we've been talking, sharing stories that we had with him. He was a great man. He left us with his recipe, and it's pretty damn good. It's really good. <laughs> it is good. I mean, I know it's good, but that was so forced. You know what we like to eat? The wives. The wives want yeah. to try it. Hot damn, that shit was good. Hot damn. Y'all been snacking this one. All right, time. it's a free for all in the house now. Everyone's hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Coach DeLeon, Coach DeLeon knew what he was doing on the football field, and he damn sure knew what he was doing when he came to eating. Like, subscribe, comment. <laughs> I was like thinking about these today randomly, and I was like, all the damn good DeLeon stories are ones he probably wouldn't want told <laughs> to like. You know, uh, people that don't know. Yeah.